How's it going? My name's Ryan, and today I'm gonna be showing you about my 1996 Subaru Legacy Wagon. Uh, I bought this car in November with uh, blown head gaskets, and I only got it for 600 bucks. Uh, so I spent about two months taking the motor out, placing the head gaskets, freshening things up, you know. And I've done a few mods along the way. Got some wheels, coilovers, um, deleted the roof rack, odds and ends, and it's a pretty clean car. It's got about 157,000 miles on it, which by today's standards, sorry, my neighbor's revving his truck like really fucking loud, but by today's standards, especially for old Subaru wagons, that is very low, um, very low. These things are beat to shit and they've got upwards of like 200 300,000 miles on them uh everywhere i look around here i guess i do live in the northwest so they're a lot more used up like a hoe um so yeah uh, i'm gonna give you a tour so coming in here you can tell it's uh it's pretty clean i did just detail it today unfortunately we got the the scum mode here the uh the automatic very unfortunate but it is my daily right now and for how much i paid for the car it's not that big of a deal as you can see here we got 157,000 miles not bad not bad <laughs> got a boss radio in here auto zone special but I do have uh, Pioneer speakers in here too, which is actually really nice. I love the bass that these things give out for the price. I, they're great radios. There's a manual. These are pretty nice. I'm not too crazy about the seats right now. They're kind of this like, uh, this like old like faded green kind of cloth i mean they're comfy but i'm probably gonna upgrade the seats sometime in the future 
just because they're not really the prettiest. Back door panel's missing because all the tabs broke off of it, and also my hood struts are still broken, so I'm waiting on new ones to get in here before I can fix all that up, but it's no big deal right now. Every other uh, trim piece in the car is pretty much intact. It's not looking too bad. I did just wash this thing, but this thing's pretty clean on the outside. There's virtually no dents, except for this one. I believe that's the only one there, though. Hood's a little faded, no big deal. So is a bumper. We got some, they look like TE reps, um, but they're really old. They're like, they're from the 90s, I believe. I bought them off one of my friends and uh, repainted them. This one's a bad example because uh, an accident happened there. The rest of them are looking pretty nice. I love the white. They were originally white, so I just kept it. And you can see up in there. Got some uh, some Rev 9 coilovers. Hyper Street 2, as they would call them. Pretty dumb name, but they work pretty nice. Not too bad. The color on this one, not my favorite. I would like to have a white one or the more deeper green that they have, but it's still pretty clean, in my opinion. Pretty clean there. glass pack on there but looking down here this is very clean under here My exhaust tip on there not too loud nothing crazy I mean it's an automatic don't really need that start it up for you guys Looking pretty clean. My coolovers here. Two point two liter 